Hey, hello everyone. I hope you are fine. Everything is well for you tonight. Uh, welcome. And speak twice. Okay, that's good. Sorry for that. Um, so tonight the idea is to talk about uh, the wonderful tool OpenRefine, which is, uh, as I call it, sometimes uh, Excel on steroids. Uh, it's a spreadsheet that can do a lot of things uh, as a spreadsheet, and it can do a lot of things uh, with um, Wikidata or other Wikibas, Wikibases, as we will see tonight. So it's a good way to reuse data, transform, manipulate data, do whatever you want, uh, as long as you know how to manipulate them. Uh, but uh, the point of tonight is to do a short demo to see what can be done. Uh, I'll start with a small example, and then I will take questions or remarks and maybe do something more improvised, we'll see. And uh, to do that, tonight I'm not alone. I have a wonderful guest uh, in the person of Sandra Fauconnier, which is the manager, director of Open Refine Project. I'll let you... Officially, it's project director. Uh... And I'm also working as a product manager on the addition of functionalities for Wikimedia Commons to OpenRefine. So, uh, yeah, I have two different things that I do with OpenRefine, and those are the two. Um, so if people have specific questions about uh, Wikimedia Commons, which you will demonstrate, then uh, I'm around. Um, we also agreed, uh, Nicola and I, that I that Nicola will demonstrate most of it. I really like our role division, and I will keep an eye on the chat and on Etherpad. So if people have any questions or requests, I am the assistant. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, perfect. And uh, maybe you can give one example of what you are doing with OpenRefine and NSDC, for instance. You mean like a, a concrete project I'm, that I'm doing now or adding SDC or you mean like more software? Just to give a test of, ah. of uh, random edits, I don't know. Um, the last edits I've been doing is I've been adding um, captions to files. You can already do that with uh, OpenRefine. And I'm looking also at older uploads that have been done uh, from GLAM institutions in the Netherlands and adding structured data to those. Just getting started because we have a lot to do there. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing with the things we are building now, yeah. which is great. And I didn't thought about caption, but I should try it. Maybe yes, you can. Try. Yeah. And uh, the second point, uh, since OpenRefine SDC is new and Commons has been there for a long time, Indeed, we uh, will have uh, some depth uh, we will need to work on. So that's a very good example of what could be done. Uh, I will work tonight uh, on a more recent data set of image. So uh, it will be easier for me, but we need to go back to all things. And I see that Oregon put the link to the EFAPAD on the chat. Uh, that's very good um, because you can look at this Twitch without an account. You're welcome. Uh, there's no problem for that. And if you want to create an account, talk directly in the chat, that's fine. If you don't have an account, you can directly write in the effort pad, which is free for everyone. Uh, some people will take notes. Um, I forgot to mention it, but also tonight is uh, recorded. So uh, in the next weeks or so, I will put it in um, YouTube. Yeah. There's already a question, Nicola. Oh, already? Yes. In Wikimedia Commons, what is the difference between captions, file captions, and descriptions? Maybe you can show that. <laughs> uh, yes, I need to show that because it's, and I'm not sure what is the uh, editorial or, or the spirit in the difference. So that's a good question. Yeah. Thank you. But technically, technically, there is clearly a difference. So in, in yeah, terms yeah. of, you know, where they fit, etc. Yes. So I will switch to my screen. And no, not openly fine. We go on comments. Uh, I will show uh, tonight we will work on a category as a starter po point of start, um, which is an exposition which was done recently. 
Um, in fact, it was 18 exposition about uh, Muslim art. And if you look uh, this little one, for instance, not easy to take a picture, but very cute little lion in crystal, I guess. And you see that here you have um, the old stuff, how we did it uh, for a long time. We put uh, everything mostly by hand. Um, yeah, this is by hand. I need to switch in English, sorry. Um, English, yeah. Um, and you have, uh, in this case, I'm not sure you have description there, but usually, ah, yes, you have description there, sorry. In French, uh, statuette en cristal originaire d'Egypte, yadi yadi yada. And here you have what we call caption, uh, which is structured data. Here it's just plain text. Uh, for instance, if you have a several languages, it's not always easy to find the language you want. Here it's structured data. Uh, you have an edit button. You can do by hand. Put uh, everything by hand. You can add a caption in the language you want. Everything. It's more structured, more easy, be easy to reuse or things like that. And you said it was easy to see the difference. How you would you put it? What is a caption? What is a description? Sandra? I was taking notes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was distracted. Um, yeah, for me, captions are part of, technically, they are part of the structured data of a file. They are translatable, easily translatable. Um, and descriptions are part of the wiki text, so that's a, a technical difference between both. Um, yeah. In terms of meaning, I don't know, uh, I, I usually see that people use them for the same purpose. So a short, just one short sentence that helps you understand what is in a picture. Um, it is important to know that what you put in the captions, in the file captions, uh, it is uh, also taken into the search index for Wikimedia Commons, so yeah. it helps to make the file discoverable. I hope that helps as an addition. Yeah, and as you said, the purpose is more or less similar. So yeah. that's why here in this case it's almost the same twice. Yeah. Uh, here you have some more information, like um, this object is in this museum, uh, Musée de la Haute Auvergne. Uh, which should go somewhere else in structured data. Uh, but the first part is the same. It's a little statue from Egypt. Um, one, since we will work with this file, uh, one interesting thing uh, connected to Wikidata also is here you see a lot of information and you see little uh, pencil everywhere. Uh, this means that everything is coming from a Wikidata item about this object. If you go in uh, edit mode, you'll see that there's just a little, uh, this is something else, just the little artwork Wikidata here. I can just remove this just to show you if I uh, show preview. Everything is coming from Wikidata, all of this. So that's uh, one you could... nice trick. You could probably also even remove the queue item or not yet um, in, the, in the wiki text. Not yet, because it's ah, not in the structured data. You, have, you still have to edit it. That, that's yes. what you're going to show. Ah, and yes. this is exactly what I'm going to show because... Oh, I, I gave it away. I'm sorry. No, but <laughs> that's a perfect transition because here cool. you have a caption we just talked about, but you have also structured data, which is a bit hidden right now. Um, where, which is where the magic happens, which is where we have a specific wiki base for commons. It's not Wikimedia Wikidata, it's the same but specific for commons. The interface is kind of similar but different. And you have specific information, uh, for instance, here about the, all the metadata about the picture itself uh, with the author, uh, which is the Wikimedia Wikimedian. Uh, copyright status, when it was taken, everything. Um, but you, this is just the basic done by bots. Uh, thank you, MultiChill, for instance, who run the bot who did a lot of edits for that, which is automatic. You don't have to do it by hand since it's quite obvious. But you can add a lot of more information like 
what this ad depicts, what uh, uh, what anything you want as a statement. I'm not sure. Do we have auto complete or some suggestion? No, not yet. Maybe one day. Um, but the important part is depicts where you can say, oh, this is. Uh, uh, in this case, the Lion de Bredon, uh, the li little lion from Bredon, which is a place near Clermont-Ferrand in Auvergne. Um, I can tie it by end uh, just this one, and you see that's the 10th century crystal statues. That's the right one. And I can put it publish change by end. But since there's a lot of pictures, as I said, a lot of pictures we had to structurize somehow. Uh, it's not a good idea to do everything by hand. And um, here comes OpenRefine, the tool that can do that more or less automatically for you. So OpenRefine, as I said, is a, more or less a spreadsheet. That's a, I, I'm not sure how long it exists. Uh, more than 10 years, for sure. It was called Google Refine at first. Um, you can go to openrefine.org and download it. Um, in this case, for what I'm showing tonight, I'm using a, a very specific version, the 3.6 snapshot, that is uh, only on GitHub for, for the moment. Uh, maybe you can put the link to the GitHub in the chat uh, and the FAPAD, or both. Um, so this will be released officially sometime around this summer, I guess. And um... yeah, actually, we plan to release. Um, so with version, the current stable version of OpenRefine is 3.5.2. So the one that you just go to the OpenRefine website and download as the current stable version. But uh, we are very soon actually releasing a 3.6 version. Um, I will not make any, any solid promises, but it should be soon, this month still, I think. Um, oh. I hope no one is hitting me on my head now, like sweating and, you know, listening to this call, like, no, I cannot make that. But uh, yeah, and that uh, will already support editing of, of Wikimedia Commons. So not yet uploading files. So another thing that we are developing is that OpenRefine will also be able to upload new files to Commons, and that will come in summer, after the summer, probably. Uh, Northern Hemisphere summer, but so uh, editing commons will be possible with the official OpenRefine very soon. Yay! Yeah, that's why I mixed up the two deadlines. Oh, that's exactly. Good. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm not sure where we can... F ah, it's right in the middle, snapshot release. And this is where you can find uh, the, the version I will be using right now, and that will be uh, available very soon, so I put it there. Um, all right, so let's see how it works. So first, you have to uh, first you can select the language. You can work in uh, whatever your language you want: Cebuano, Dutch, uh, Swamis, Espanol, Francais, as you want. For tonight, I will work in French, obviously. You can uh, open old. Uh, existing project, you see that I worked with um, cheese a lot of time. Um, hey, hi, Sanita. No, you're not totally late. We are just starting the demo. Um, you can import a project from a friend who did something, for instance, and you want to share it. But tonight we will create a project. To create the project, as you can see, it supports a lot of different documents. Uh, format TSV, CSV, Excel, JSON, XML, RDF, Google Data Spreadsheet Online, whatever you want. It can be a file on your computer that you can select. It can be a URL on the web. It can be a clipboard. This is what I'm going to do. I think it's the easiest one. It could be a SQL database, uh, database or whatever you want. If you know how to work in Postgre or MariaDB, Please do. I don't know this part, but I know it's possible. And you can use directly um, Google Data Spreadsheet. So, um, but as I say, we'll use um, a clipboard. And I will start with a um, category and commons. So this category is called Art de l'Islam Exhibition from Clermont Ferrand. Uh, and I will use uh, a little tool called SpetScan. 
and I will just in PetScan copy paste the name of the category. Uh, I say it's on commons. The category is called like this, copy paste. I want depth one because I want also the files in the subcategories. There's some nice files here. If they have their own category, they are quite important. Um, on the page property, I need to say I want files. <coughs> I want pages in the file namespace. And as output, I want plain text, which is the most simple. And I can just do it. It runs for a few seconds. Uh, is it all of them? Yes, it is all of them. I can take them all, copy, go to open with family okay, paste, and do next. Here you have a little um, middle screen, let's call it. Let's uh, take the data and try to guess what it is. For instance, here, um, usually it works very well. But today, uh, for instance, he thinks that a file dot, uh, two dots, is a separator for two columns, which is not. So I need to say, no, it's not, absolutely not. There's only one column, it's the file name. Uh, you can say, ignore the first line or not. Um, for instance, la, here you see that the first line is understood as the header, the name, which is, again, it's not. So you need to say, oh, it's not. Uh, and you see here it's column one. I can also, which is better, uh, say, uh, find a meaningful name for for this project. So, um, ah, Islam, for instance, it will be good. I can put tag if I work in a lot of projects, I can find it back. Uh, SDC, for instance, here, that will be good. And I can, uh, if everything is okay, create project. So this was the two step uh, first, how to say how you get the data. And then here is the screen where you spend the most of the time, where you can uh, pass the data, connect the data to Wikidata, connect the data to commons, connect to data to anything you want, really. Uh, you can change the data. Uh, this is what I will be showing today. Um, so you see that by default, I, uh, I have 10, I think, but I can show more. Um, for instance, here is a very short file to make sure it works well tonight, no problem. Uh, but you can work with thousands of rows uh, of data if you want. Uh, I think I did 10,000 once. It was a bit painful, but yeah, it worked. Um, and you see, you have a lot of uh, functionalities. You can uh, edit the cells, uh, turn them uh, all caps or all small letters, remove uh, uh, all the consecutive white space, for instance, could be a useful unescape HTML entities to title case, to uppercase, you see. Transform, this could be tricky if you have number as a string to turn it into a real number or into a date. You have uh, custom made um, functionalities. You can edit sale by sale or you can edit a wall column at once. You can uh, transpose, do filter, do facets. Um, I can do a little customized facet uh, text length, for instance. And it will give me here the facet uh, saying me, oh, all the text here are between 24 and 86 uh, characters. And if I want only the longer one, I can do that. Oh, that's the longer one. I can say all this one and I can work exactly on what I want. And if I don't need the facet, I just remove it. I have everything. Um, this is important because the facet determines what you will be exporting or importing from Wikidata later or commons. So sometimes you have a big file, but you just want to work on a subset, for instance, and facets are your friends. Um, so that's it for the general um, demonstration of the functionality. I will not show everything. I will do a demo of what's important for me in that case. Uh, so it's by no means an extensive and exhaustive demonstration tonight. Uh, there's too many possibilities to do in one hour. Um, a very important thing is to reconcile 
reconcile is aligning with other database, for instance, um, comments in that case, and um, uh, that's the start reconciling. And you see that you have um, different what we call services, and I can connect to Wikidata in English, Wikidata in French, Wikimedia Commons in English, Wikimedia Commons in French. But if I want more, I can add a service for to connect to other databases. Um, I don't have example for tonight, but we'll just work with um, Commons. Nicolas, so yeah. Wikimedia Commons doesn't come by default in Open Refine. Uh, so you had to add that one. Can you maybe demonstrate that? Uh, are you or would sure that be too, too difficult? Sorry? Are you sure it doesn't? Did I? It doesn't. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> you yeah. added it yourself. Uh, yeah, but I, now I don't remember when I... Um... Oh, yeah, maybe I'm making it very, very difficult for you. Not... I can put a link, the link to the service in, in the notes, uh, if yeah. you like. If you go to Google, for instance, you just type comments reconciliation. You see it's one of the first one. And the link is somewhere on that page. Um, it's um, actually not really well. It no, looks... it's not that page. Mm. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, um, do you see the chat of the Twitch? Yes, you do, right? Yeah. I will, I will paste it there. Perfect. Thank you. In, uh, indeed. Um, so you, you, what I will show is that the button is here, at standard service, and you put the URL you are given. Uh, for instance, here. Um, it's not actually exactly. That's good that you put this one because this one is the URL for the page. And what you want to paste in, uh, that's, uh... that's this one, which is a bit longer with the language inside. So if I want to put, for instance, uh, in Italian, because why not? I can yep. use it, add a service, and Italian mm -hmm. is there now. Uh, yeah. I don't speak very well Italian, sorry, uh, Luca, so I will work in English. Um, and you have a lot of options, very useful when you work with Wikidata, with comments, uh, not so much in that case, so I can just go start reconciling. Yeah. If you have a big file, it can take some time. Yeah, it was just um, 14 lines, so it was quite quick. And you see that he found match for all of them. Uh, it does in uh, automatic facet that you actually don't need. And you can over the mouse and you see that it found the files and it show you uh, images, some line a bit distorted for some reason. Uh, probably a bug that will be soon fixed, I guess. But you can make sure it's, oh, it's the file I wanted. And then you can work on this file. So once it's reconciled, it's connected somehow. You can say, oh, uh, go to comments and find anything I want, really. And you use edit column, add column from reconciled values. And you say, oh, I want um, depicts, because I want to add depicts, but oh, give me what you know already. And you see that you have a small um, uh, demo, uh, preview, sorry. And it say, oh, here for this one and this one, you know that there is already, if I go to comments, you'll see that if I go down there to structure data, oh, sorry, structure data, you see that there's the, indeed the depicts elephant. But you can retrieve it that way. That's the magic of it. And this one is um, the general Art of Islam exhibition, which is not good. Uh, we want, it's not always clear what we want ideally uh, for every picture in uh, comments. But in this case, it's quite obvious since it's um, object in an exhibition. Uh, you uh, want the QID for this said object. So what I can, I can do is um, reconcile again, add column from reconcile value, and I will take the wiki text, which is a big blog about text, uh, plain text the whole way. It will create a new Colon. And in this text, uh, sometimes there's no clear information, but sometimes uh, there is. Uh, as I said before, with uh, artwork, Wikidata equal NVID, and this is what we want. Uh, this is what I, I did 
yesterday, in fact, so that's why I know it's here. Uh, but instead of copy pasting in by hand, uh, I can use uh, a little trick. Um, edit colon, add colon based on this colon. And here is some um, um, terrible uh, code that you need to know where to split and how to do things. For instance, here, uh, I'm a bit used to it, so I know it's like that. Uh, uh, so split is to say, oh, you take the, the chain and you split it when you see Wikidata. And uh, I say one because I want the, the one after. It starts at zero. So for instance, here you have error, but here you see that it removed the beginning. And I forgot a space here, I see. And then I could also do a second split uh, on uh, two, two brackets and take it split with a T. Um, this trench code is what we call uh, GRAY. GRAY is General Refined Expression Language. You can find good tutorial online to see how you can uh, manage it. Um, it's not always easy, but it's manageable and you will find most of the time you will use and reuse again again the same time for the same one. For instance, split is very common, replace is very common, and there's a few others. And um, Sandra, I think you are working on way to do it yeah. more easily. We would yes, like. thank you so much. I was just going to say, ah, I want to say something. So yeah. I, I, I am terrified when you do this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I never want to do that. So um, we are actually developing a, next, a specific Wikimedia Commons extension for Open Refine as well. That's not ready yet. It's going to be later in the year. But that will contain probably a screen or something like that with preset functions. So, you know, when I have uh, that, you can say I have this information template, just give me the Wikidata value for that or give me all the categories or so that you don't have to, so that no one has to suffer through this uh, horrible growl. Uh, yeah. We're working on it. My colleagues are working hard as we speak. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, yes, you see that to retrieve a specific field like Wikidata or description or date, it's um, when I, I'm used to, to suffer this syntax, so now I know it, but uh, it's quite easy since it's always the same time to do it. Uh, so I'm waiting a lot from this uh, next functionality, but not ready, so I'm not showing them tonight. And a uh, good thing is since you're always using the same one, you have here a little uh, history. So you see, oh, always use the same and do the same thing. So for instance, replace, for, I'm, I'm not sure why I use it, but I replaced PDF with PDF in French for some reason. So I can reuse it and find it reuse again and again. And I can reuse this one today. Uh, so if you are always doing the same, uh, at least you have history to help you. So this is good. I can do OK, give a name for the new colon. So it would be uh, Wikidata UID, for instance. OK. And I have a new colon. So if it doesn't find anything, it's just empty. And if for some case it finds a QID, yeah, it's perfect. So maybe here, no, that's not the case. But I can show that uh, you can edit cell, command transform and remove the white space at the beginning uh, or at the end for some time. Oh, you see that there was seven to correct. So it will be cleaner for the next step. And the next step is to reconcile. But here we do a more simpler way reconcile since it's already identifiers. So you can use values as identifiers uh, against Wikidata this time. And OK. And this one, since it's already an identifier, it's much quicker. And if you click on it, you see that's, oh, that's the item about the specific image. So that's good. And I can do a lot more manipulation. Try, for instance, to, in this, try some information. For instance, here, Oliphant Mark will probably be reconciliable. Um, but I can do it in a next step. Yeah, I can do a facet, uh, text facet. And I can say, um, uh, how do I say I want all the, no, it's not the right facet, sorry. Uh, facet 
customize facets by empty null or empty string this one and i can say oh i want the one with some value or oh, false sorry yeah false it's not empty so here i don't have all the line i only have the lines that i want to work on and uh, with a qid here uh, so that was the part for data manipulation. We can do a lot more. This is just a demo for tonight. And the next and final step, more or less, is to uh, export the data to uh, comments. So it's done with what we call a schema, edit Wikibas schema. It shows a new tab here. And you can say, oh, I want to do this or that. And if I do it uh, quickly as I did, add item and take my colon, this is what I want for. You see that you have a small error message warning. Uh, this is not good. You try to work against Wikidata, but my identifier, uh, the first column, it's uh, something on common, so it does not work. So don't forget here to um, uh, select Wikibase instance and uh, select the right instance. And again, <laughs> before Sandra said it, uh, by default, you just have Wikidata, I guess. Maybe Wikibase on structured data commands? I'm not sure. No, by default, indeed, you also just have Wikidata. Yeah. But you can add other Wikibases as well. Yeah. You see, here I add a lot of them, some for tests uh, I don't use actually, uh, but you need Wikidata and uh, Wikimedia Commons. And you can close, and now you work against on. Wikimedia Commons. So if I say, oh, work on this item, on this column, yeah, no error message. Yay! And you can say, it was my point tonight to add depicts. And I know that this is this little guy, Wikidata ID. And I can save schema. I can do a lot more things. I can, uh, with configure, say I want to add or merge, add or delete, if it's already there. Uh, I can choose a lot of specific configuration to fine tune to do exactly what I want. I can add a qualifier like in Wikidata, you know it. Uh, a reference, you can uh, work with multiple values. You can do uh, basically whatever you want. You can add multiple statements at once. Uh, it depicts this and the offer is something, uh, whatever, whatever. Here, I did a simple example, so I just have a simple export, but you can work very well. And um, one good thing to know is if you add multiple statements, OpenWeFind will do them at once on Wikidata. So if you are adding uh, 100 of statements in one item, it's just one edit. So it will go faster and for the threshold and all the limitation you have sometime on Wikidata, it say, oh, you did too many edits per minute. You have to stop for one hour and go back later uh, to not uh, burden Wikidata or comments. Um, if you add uh, data with quick statements, which is other tool, uh, it will be much slower in the end. So OpenRefine is really on steroids. You can go faster. Um, that's it. And if you want to make sure that what you did before sending it is good, you can check here that you have no issue and it's good there is no issue perfect and you can even see a little preview and it says that on this file it will add depict this and uh, currently there's no the label didn't appear there but it should appear i guess again i'm waiting at sandra to do it later uh, and you would see that this indeed is uh, the mass darm this is a tapish this is the little lion we had before and everything. So I would actually have just re classically reconciled the Q IDs and then you see the labels, if you get my point. Um. You can just run the classical reconciliation service. I think it's slower, but then, yeah, you indeed see what you are working yeah. on, not just the Q numbers. So I can go to action and say discard, clear reconciliation data. Yeah. And then indeed do a normal reconciliation against comments in English. Uh, comments? No, it's Wikidata, yeah. It's Wikidata, yeah. Reconcile. Sorry. Start reconcile. So the reconciliation service also recognizes Q numbers, QIDs. 
uh, there is no particular type. Oh, it's Ooh, not. It was in French this time. Yeah, because I know that the label are in French, so. Ah, uh, oui. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how well it would work against. Um, ah, interesting. Yeah. Uh, and I see that they all matched with a hundred percent score, so it's directly matched. Super. Yeah. To nice. See. But, so uh, now, indeed, yeah, you get the labels. I go to the schema and save again to make sure. And yeah, you're right. Ah. Oh. Ta-da! Well, I mean, it will take longer, of course, if you have a big data set. The reconciliation, I think, yeah. this is going to be less fast, but. Uh, by the way, this is a good segue. There is a question in the Etherpad that has been burning in my eyes. <laughs> so someone asked uh, back when you, you know, you started working uh. with the Wikimedia Commons reconciliation service. Why did you specify the language there? So both the Commons and the Wikidata reconciliation service, you can specify in which language you work. For Commons, it doesn't really matter a lot, but it will indeed uh, influence the label of the column. The, like the header of the column, w w whether it will show depicts or I don't know what it's in French. Dépeint. Uh, oh my way. Uh, or uh, or yeah, and it will also influence I think the labels of the um, items that have been reconciled, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. And so uh, that question. Yeah, and for commands, it's also useful when you do uh, on a column to add a new column from reconciled value. Uh, you see that here it's in English because I choose to reconcile with English. If I had chosen uh, French, it would be in French, the name of the exactly. property, uh, yep. or in Japanese or everything. So it's yep. not that important, but uh, if here it was in Chinese, it would be a problem anyway. So it's important to do it in your language. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, since we are good, I can do um, upload schema, upload edit to. Wikibars, I enter my name and um, password. Uh, I should not use my full name, but that's a problem for later. Uh, it will work that way, but it's better to use an uh, alternative uh, robot account. You have here the, the little uh, thing say, oh, you should use this new system, but I'm not sure how it works. Did I hear right? Wikipedia reconciliation service? Um, maybe you heard right, but that no. was a mistake because I, there's no Wikipedia. No, there's not. Did I say I, that? I might have said that. Yeah. It's late and my brain is fried, but it's definitely, we don't have that. We don't have that. Wikidata or Wikimedia Commons? Yes. It would sorry. be interesting too. Oh. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure what you could reconcile on Wikipedia. Now, no, Rodrigo, you are. <laughs> Making me wonder, but yeah, <laughs> sure. Adding p uh, on uh, on the Islam uh, objects, for instance. Uh, I can choose the max lag, as I said. If you don't want to make too much of it, and you have an explanation, but here it's just a small demo, so I can leave it to five and upload edit. And here you see, as there's only seven, it goes quite quickly. It's still a bit slow for seven, so you see how you can uh, prepare in advance some things. And if I go back, um, or I can just click here. Uh, -da if you go back now to structure data, oh, sorry, go away. Structure data, you see that now there's depicts this specific item. So it was a small demo. It may not seem too much right now, but uh, once it's here, you can do a lot of wonderful things. Use it in uh, automatic tools. Um, some uh, robots can use it. You can do Sparkle query on it, uh, and pretty much everything you can do against a Wikibase, like you can do with Wikidata. Um, and I think it's already very great. And you see, it's just, uh, as I said, the snapshot, the true version, and the next version probably will be even better and better. And we can really do a lot of good works around um, around wiki that uh, wiki based on commands. Um, 
That was for yes, the indeed. demo part. Yeah. I was just going to add, so uh, you only added the depict statements. If you would have also added, now that's, this, this is maybe a bit complicated, but if you would have also added uh, main subject, the same work as main subject to the files, then you could, I think, uh, remove the QID from the wiki text and the wiki text would retrieve the um, just the data without even knowing about the queue number because it, it's in the structured data, if that makes sense to the audience, because it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, but already I will try with just depicts. No. Oh, let's see. Yeah. With just depicts, it doesn't work. That's for sure. And with main subject, it works? With main subject, but for three-dimensional works. And so you would have to change the template into the art photo template. It would be, look very nice, though. I, yeah, I really like that. that. That's a bit strange, but I want, I, I want to try anyway, because that's a fun thing to try and it will leave a bit of time for people to ask more questions. Jan, Jan agrees with my remark, I think. At, at least I hope he does. It's, I see in the comments that uh, okay. don't sell this edit short. So, uh, main subject. But it's a bit strange to do it twice. I guess I it would be better if the tool can recognize depicts directly. Yeah, but then I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. strange. But anyway, yeah. I will do it for the sake of demoing if it works. So I added by end this time. So you see how can you can do it by end, main subject this one. So you can imagine if I have a lot to do, it will take more time, and I can go back to find information. Maybe reload the page to make sure it works. If I go back to edit this page, I will remove that just to show it works, uh, that part. So if I've got just artworks, just artworks, yes. it works. Oh, what's... Does it? Ah, you mean the depict edit. Okay. Ah, ah you don't yes. have... Uh... You that you don't have source information in the structured data yet. No. So that's uh, it's complaining about it a bit. Yeah, but mostly it works. It says, "Oh, that's the mass down. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a maze." If if you do art photo rather than artwork, art sp space photo, then it will show separately a block of information about the artwork and separately about the photograph that was taken about the artwork. If you get what I am saying here. It's it's not so not artwork photo, but art photo. Ah. Yeah. And with uh, capital P? I don't think that matters. I'm not sure. Uh, it does matter. But... Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so no, there's no capital P and you see, oh, the object and the photograph. Okay. That's very interesting. I like that. Yes. Yeah. I, I like that better. Uh, I'm still a bit confused about putting twice the same value. Oh. But uh, is it depicts the object or is the object? Yeah, so that's, you see, that's yeah, you see the difference. More... Yeah, so you see that the photo has been made in, in on 12th of March 2022, while the object has been made in the 19th century. I like those distinctions because there's sometimes confusion on comments like, you know, there's one date, it shows yeah. an artwork, but it was made in 2022. Um, while it's a medieval work, I don't know. <laughs> so it can clarify that a little bit more. So, uh, yes, I will remove that for sure. Art photo. But yeah, source information, you can also add it edit in structured data. You could use yeah. OpenRefine for that. But I'm wondering if we still need the old template. Um, no, because on work and Pierre Tribou, who took the picture is here. The yep. date is here. Oh, we have the time, but that's a small detail. Okay. This is not in English, so okay. But it works. So I can just, uh, I need to leave the, this template for the license. But otherwise, I can remove information entirely. And that's. Uh, hmm. A nice cleanup. Cleanup. So this is a bit, uh, as you say, we still 
talk about what is the best way to do it. So maybe don't do it a uh, hundred of time right now. Maybe wait a little bit, talk with other people to make sure we find the best solution before deploying it uh, en masse everywhere. But I think, yes, this, at least it shows how we can work everything together, why we took the pain to add it uh, um, with Tutu Data Command. So that's very nice. Uh, yeah, we need to think more about that. Mm. Especially I'm thinking that uh, when you upload a new picture with upload, at the last uh, screen, it asks for depicts, but it doesn't yeah. ask for subjects. Yeah. So if you really want to use subject, we will need to make it more findable mm -hmm. for newcomers mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah, um, that's totally true. Is there no question here? No, and in the chat. It's, it seems very clear to people. Yeah, so to, uh, to respond to your comments, so in the Upload Wizard indeed, for, Wiki, for uh, Open Refine, I am also still wrapping my head around this, so I, it's definitely not like we have solved this problem. But we want, for people who are familiar with the PattyPen tool, PattyPen yeah. also offers uh, like um, preset mm -hmm. templates. Oh, so PattyPen first asks like, do you want to upload photos of artworks or photographs or maps or whatever? And we would actually like to have something similar for OpenRefine that it already gives you the structure, like the data structure that you need. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's complicated because as you say, it still needs some discussion here and there. And ah, well, <laughs> we're working on it, so let's see. Yeah, and it's a good direction. It's maybe not everything is ready yet, but at least the technical parts works are there. Uh, now it's more a matter of the community to talk about it um, and see what is the more efficient, the more logical, because it's very technical already. So you don't want to burden us and everyone yeah. with more techniques. So you have to find a good uh, equilibrium and trade-off. Totally. Um, maybe some people have uh, comments about that. I'm sure Jan will have a lot of um, and I see that someone is writing in the chat. So to clarify, main subject instead of depicts, it's in addition to depicts. So it's the both both together allows the use of art photo. I will update it in the Etherpad. It could be instead, as long as it's here, in addition to something else or instead of something else, it works. Um, but that's a very good question. Should it replace or should we, should we be redundant and that twice? Um, that's why I'm not sure. Because it's a bit strange to put twice the same value. I would prefer for redundancy to just put it once in the best property, but I'm not sure what is the best property. Maybe mm -hmm. the solution is also for the template to better understand depicts. So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not entirely. Yeah, there's a lot of discussion behind it. Uh, this is also super nerdy, but like for scans of paintings, you have like uh, a, a faithful representation of the work. And so there we also use a separate property to say, you know, there is no new copyright on top of this photo because it is a faithful representation. So, yeah, so then the template knows yeah. about it and this is really for art nerds. <laughs> yeah. But I, I always get into these, these discussions when I start talking about this. Yeah, no, it, that's very good discussion. And I see that now the chat is on fire with a lot of good comments. Yes. And uh, Kellen Duin, Duin, Duin? I, I'm not sure, says uh, no ID, but maybe there should be only one main subject. Uh, that's a great question. Ideally, yes, there's only one. But if you take a large uh, picture with a lot of things on it, um, do I have an example in mind? No, but you can all imagine uh, a museum with a big glass and a lot, 10, maybe hundreds of little statues sometimes, and they are all equally the subjects. So in depicts, 
no problem to put them all. Main subject, the main is strange here. Indeed, I'm not sure what to do with that. So thanks for the question. Um, maybe Sandra, you have a different opinion. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah. I think these cases are rare. <laughs> so yeah, we of course want to want to cover the most occurring cases where you will have one artwork that is being depicted. But yeah, as soon as you have like two, I had one one example, but of course I will not find find it now because uh, <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's a yeah. strange yeah. Uh, but of really a photograph out, outside that showed two artworks that were both prominent, like they had both the same importance. And then I was thinking indeed, like it would be nice to have indeed also the wiki text showing both of them. But I don't know, this, these are rare cases. I think most cases will be just, you have a photo of one artwork and that's, that's your topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most cases will be easy. Uh, I know that someone or some people, I don't remember exactly, uh, talked about we can use uh, for uh, different scopes, like main subject would be, uh, in this case, for instance, the statue of a lion, the specific one, and depicts would be just lion in general. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I like that because, again, the information it depicts lion is already on Wikidata. So, again, there's a mm. bit of duplication, but yeah. that's maybe something we need to look at i'm not sure uh, so so many more questions uh, uh, rodrigo is asking if there is a page with stats on usage of property in commons uh, i don't think we have that but it would be super interesting to see that i know that we can do a query because right now there's not a lot of them so a sparkle query would work uh, the more and more data will be in commons, the less the query will work. So we need to think about something like that. Um, I know there's also uh, when you edit, I need to show that. So I need to go back to my screen. Sorry. Uh, where was my screen? Here. Here. Uh, screen. Sorry. Um, when you go back to the history, you see uh, that I did the edit. Uh, it was this one. You see that you have a little tag, open refine 3.6. So I can go to a special page, tags. And you have a lot of tags for so many things. And you have open refine uh, 3.6. And you see that there was all the 13,000 and more changes. And you can go click on it. It's a bit slow, sadly. Uh, it's very slow. But you will see all the examples uh, sorted by date it was done. So you see that, for instance, this was me today. This was <laughs> Sandra yesterday. And this was probably Sarah bef uh, Sandra before and me before, because there's not a lot. Of, yeah. As I said, it's a snapshot. So it will you you are welcome to try do things and you see that indeed uh, you added caption in yeah in Dutch okay um, oh and you put your example again with two artworks as main subjects I will show it on screen yeah so it's not I don't think did I add that in the structured data it is definitely a photo with two you know, main artworks, important artworks in there. So, yeah. I did, yes, yes, yes. And even three, because there's a, an important building as well, a notable building. Yeah. So ideally, I would actually really like it if we would have info boxes for all of these at some point. But yeah. So you have the three. You have the building on the left, which is notable. You have this, the, the re relief on the building, which is an artwork by Solowit. And then you have the sculpture, which is a sculpture by Henry Moore. So three really important things, art, artistic things in one picture. Anyway, yeah. How, and, how would we want to display that? And it's fun because you see that in depicts, you have the three of them. But in main subject, you have only the two art pieces. Yeah, and not the it's just me. Being lazy and not adding the building, <laughs> I think. Is it? I could add the building there. I don't know. Um, it, it could be on purpose because the building is just uh, 
not really, but a bit in the background. So it's not a subject that is depicted. That's that's a good question to yeah to ask to the community to think together. Uh, Jon had several questions. Would you want many artwork info boxes on pictures like that? I don't know. That's an open question too. And he said that if you search uh, with as web statement uh, VB statement P100, you see on special search here, um, not this one, the old one, special search. No, yeah. You see that there's oh really seven million already? Nice. I'm not surprised. Uh, I'm not surprised there's a lot more, but 7 million, almost 8 million, mostly Actually, done by it. end. That's the impressive part, because everything yeah. before was done by end, of, with some bots, some crude bots, I would say. Um, so I've, I'm very optimistic if we have tools like Open Refine, we can do everything in no time. Yeah, huh. <laughs> hopefully. So yeah, that's interesting. And I'm, for instance, this one, an iguana, for instance. Who, who added it? An owl? Because it was in the title? What? Structured data. Oh, is it bugging? Um, oh, you see that you have green iguana twice. And it's the same iguana for some reason. That's, that's why bots. Are not always. Uh, how do I remove again? Eh, yeah, it's a bit slow because it's one hour and my old computer is not happy with that. Ah, yes, totally, you are right. There was some tools like ACDC, SDC tool, or ISA. That's true. That's probably how it was done. But that was good tools, but gamified, simplified. And you want, uh, in this case, it was done uh, with SDC tools, I guess. So, okay. That's good. Um, and we are at the end of the hour almost. So, I think we can stop there. Um, maybe some last questions in the chat. One question about special bot passwords. Yeah. Uh, uh, Luzona is totally right. Uh, uh, can you show the special page? Uh, I will not show it. If people want to do it, uh, you just click on the link he gave. Uh, indeed, it's a very good practice to use the, the bot password, which is in a how to put it simply, uh, additional account. It's not exactly a bot account, it's bot password. So it just creates a sub account for you. So if you lose this password, uh, it's somehow you do a demo on the internet and people saw it and you are like, oh, everybody saw my uh, password. Uh, then it's just the password for this sub account. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, but it's something relatively new, maybe three, five years, but I'm an old one, so <laughs> I'm still not used to use it. But that's uh, a shame on me, as we say. Um, so thanks to remind that. Um, I always forgot what it is. And um, there's no more question in the chat uh, and no more in the etherpad. So thank you, everyone. Thank you a lot, uh, Sandra, for coming. And I enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. lots of fun. Uh, and today it was a special session. That's why it's in English. I'm usually doing every Tuesday in French. Uh, more things uh, Sparkle related. Um, but it was in um, what we call the Wikidata data reuse days 2022. And uh, in uh, Alpha I think there will be a new. I'm looking for it. Yes. The next session, uh, it will be by Pedro on uh, Jitsi. I will give you the link. <coughs> and Oregon is which uh, 
uh, faster than me and she put the better link than me so yeah just go there um, and it's not just today but two day three days left uh, some days at least so you can watch the program and see uh, there's two more days the closing session is on uh, uh, Friday Um, yes, for the French speaker, you are absolutely right, Luzona, if you want to look things in French, you can go to YouTube and uh, look uh, Lyokoi, uh, Luca will be talking about uh, the 18th birthday of the Wiktionary, mainly in French and about the French Wiktionary, but it will be a cool thing too, and it's starting uh, now, I guess. So that's it. So many things. Um, thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks again, Sandra. Um, um, see you next week in French for the other people and probably on the Jitsi in English. Okay, bye. Bye bye.